will come. I'll discuss now extra example number two. We're told that at t equals zero, car one starts from rest and moves with a constant acceleration of two meters per second squared. Car one at t equals zero starts with it starts from rest. From rest means v zero equals zero. It has acceleration two meters per second square. At that same instant that is at t equals zero, car two, another car is 100 meters ahead. It's 100 meters ahead. Okay. And it is moving with with a constant velocity of 10 meters per second. So V2 10 meters per second. The question is at what time does car one catch up with car Before solving this problem, of course, you should convince yourself that car one will catch up with car two. Car one starts from rest. Car two is 100 meters ahead, and it's already moving at 10 meters per second. But its velocity is constant. Whereas car one, since it's accelerating at two, meter, at two meters per second squared, this means that every second, its velocity increases by 2 meters per second. So after one second, its velocity will be 2 meters per second. At t equal 2 seconds, it will be 4 meters per second. At t equal 6, at t equal 3, it will be 6. At t equal 4, at t equal 5. At t equal 10 seconds, it will have a velocity of 20 meters per second, and so on. So so since it's accelerating, eventually its velocity will become quite larger than the velocity of car two, and in time it will take over or it will catch up with car two. So we want to find at what time does car one catch up with car two. The, let us suppose that that they catch up with each other or, or, or car one catches up with car two here. This is car one and this is car two. At some distance x from from where car one begins. So let's take this distance to be x or d, whatever you like. The time here is t. So x equals v0 t plus half a t squared. x is the displacement of car 1. So the displacement is v0 t plus half a t squared. v0 is 0. 
and a is 2. So half times 2 times t squared. So it's just t squared. Of course, we don't know x, we don't know t. So I need another equation. The other equation is obtained by noting that during this same time interval from 0 to t, car 2 has traveled a distance of x minus 100 because car 2 is 100 meters ahead, and now car 1, they meet here at x. So the distance that car 2, or the displacement of car 2, is 100, is x minus 100. So if I write x minus 100, this is equal to the displacement of car 2, but the displacement of car 2 is simply v2 t, because there's no acceleration. So it's just the uh, velocity times the time. And v2 is, is 10, so this is 10 t. So I have x minus 100 is 10 t, and x is t squared. So I put for x t squared, it becomes t squared minus 100 is 10 t, which means that t squared minus 10 t minus 100 is equal to 0. So t equals 10 plus or minus square root of 10 squared, which is 100 minus 4 times 1 times minus 100, so plus 400 over 2. So this is 10 or 5 minus or plus, that's square root of 500, which is 10 root 5 over 2, so 5 root 5. So it's 5 into 1 minus or plus root 5 seconds. Now clearly, if I take the minus sign, I end up with negative time. That doesn't make sense. So I have to choose a plus sign so that time finally is 5 into 1 plus root 5 seconds. Square root of 5 is about 2.23 plus 1, 3.23 times 5, that's about 16. So it's about 16 seconds. Uh, thank you for listening.